This is the Mattapan High Speed Line in Boston. And this is the equipment. Hold up, hold up, hold up. This is episode two, not episode one. New video, new focus. So, what happens when this 80-year-old equipment breaks down? And how does the MBTA maintain these historic workhorses? Mattapan, where the MBTA's 80-year-old PCCs roam. And these PCCs haven't had a break since their arrival in Boston in the 1940s. After all, Boston is the only transportation system in the country that has continuously operated its streetcars since they arrived on the property. As mentioned in episode 1, which you should watch, PCC number 3087 is the oldest operating PCC in the world. But these cars can't be that perfect, right? Correct, and you are about to see what happens when their age catches up to them. The date is September 1st, 2022. I'm at Ashmont Station. Current situation? Confusion. A handful of people were on the platform awaiting the arrival of the next train, scheduled to arrive here in one minute. But the train is nowhere to be seen. Where could it be? Checking the train tracker, I found out that PCC car number 3268 was stopped on a bridge between Butler and Cedar Grove. Having not moved for about 10 minutes, it was safe to assume that this car was broken. So, car number 3263, which you can see come up to car number 3268 on the tracker, coupled on to the broken PCC. The rescue car then shoved 3268 back down the hill. Meanwhile, in Ashmont, it was announced that shuttle buses would be replacing service, with buses running between all stations on the line. It was at that moment when I caught a glimpse of the two trolleys rounding the bend at Cedar Grove. Visible to the final few passengers on the platform, the presence of a trolley caused serious confusion amongst commuters. As 3263 pushed 3268 up the hill, the trolley's brakes began to smoke, likely because of the force required to push another heavy car up a steep grade. So now, the operators were dealing with two broken trolleys on their hands. Yikes. You can see the smoking object on the tracks, presumably a smoking piece of rubber from the brake shoes. Seeing two PCCs operate together on the Mattapan High Speed Line is certainly a rare sight. After all, trolleys on this branch have almost always operated with only solo cars. And seeing a deuce is something that does not happen every day. Each time the operators tried to start up and depart from Ashmont, this high-pitched, squeaky sound was heard. I have no idea what that is, but it clearly wasn't good, because these cars didn't go anywhere. So now you may be wondering, what does the T do when two cars have broken down? Well, they send another. Knowing this would happen, my friend Tyler and I hopped on to one of the shuttle buses, which was full of confused riders. Guided by a bus inspector, our bus snaked its way through thick Dorchester traffic. We then got off at Milton and waited for the return of a once-in-a-lifetime three-car PCC set. (laughs) 
Now wasn't that cool? Notice that all three of those PCCs are non-refurbished, the same as they were 80 years ago. Not long after the triple set cleared, normal service resumed, almost as if nothing happened. So now you know how the MBTA handles a breakdown, especially on the Mattapan line. But what is the T doing to prevent future breakdowns? Well, as I mentioned in episode 1, the T is rebuilding 8 PCCs with new, modern propulsion systems, LED lighting, and more. Thankfully for us PCC fans, Minus a few additions in the interior, the new PCCs are virtually the same as the old ones. The goal of this rebuild is to extend the PCC's life at least another decade. Currently, two rebuilt trolleys are complete and multiple are undergoing rebuild at the Everett shops. As of September 2022, PCC number 3620 is sitting on a trailer behind Mattapan Station, awaiting a rebuild of its own. The yard behind Mattapan Station is also full of other broken PCCs, some even broken beyond repair. Anyways, as I said earlier, the only in-service rebuilt trolley is 3265, as well as 3234, which is still testing. Both of these PCCs sound a lot like the Type 8s on the MBTA's Green Line. Furthermore, the ride is much more smooth, with less bumps and jostles. The rebuilt PCCs also feature a unique e-bell. and horn, or whatever you call that. I wouldn't say I like it, but it isn't the worst thing in the world, and it seems as if there is a brighter future for the PCCs than one may think. So let's cherish these historic workhorses while we have them. Thank you for watching episode 2 of Making the Mattapan Line. But quickly, before you go, I have a question for you. Have you ever wondered what the history behind each stop on the Mattapan Line is? Find out in episode 3, which will be released sometime in 2023, where I will uncover the little known history behind each stop on the line. Also, in other news, I have started a Patreon for this channel. If you enjoy my videos and also want to help my making of them, as well as gaining early access to videos and other perks, please consider subscribing to that. It will really help out. But until next time, I will see you all again soon, out there on the rails.